Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and in today's Canva video, I want to show you how to create presentations where you can make things appear on click. So, for example, when you're presenting something, if you remember from the days of good old PowerPoint, you could click something, um, you could click your mouse or the arrow button or whatever, whatever you use to transition from one slide to the next, you could actually make elements or text boxes appear on click. Now, to help you understand, let me just present this slide that I just made, and that will effectively show you what I mean. So um, before that, let's just uh, quickly take a look at this slide. It has an image, a laptop, Newsletter 101, basically a laptop element and a text box. They're grouped together and then some um, bullet points, kind of. So let me present that. And as you can see, when I start the presentation, I can only see the image, but none of the text. And that's because I have set it up so that those text boxes and the elements appear only when I click something or I, when I hit the arrow buttons, basically. So when I hit the right arrow or just click anywhere with my mouse, the first set of elements appear, the laptop and newsletter 101. And then when I click enter or arrow or mouse click again, the next text box appears, click it again, the other one, click it again, the other one. So that's a really nice way to, you know, do presentations because a whole slide may have multiple talking points and maybe you don't want all of those talking points to appear at the same time when you're presenting something. So if you have that um, set up when uh, when you set it up so things appear on click it just makes the slides and your presentation more interesting and more effective so let me show you how it's done so i have actually already made a uh, copy of the other presentation but without um without the um on click appear on click um, effects enabled. So just to give you an example, it doesn't have that effect yet. So when I present it, everything appears all at once. So when you click it, nothing happens because everything is already there. So how do you make it so that things appear on click? So let's say that when I start the presentation, I want the image to be there. I want the laptop to be there and I also want the newsletter 101 to be there. However, I don't want any of these three points to be there. So just make sure that um, the things that you want to appear on click, they are each their own um, item. Because if you use one text box um, to write all of these three things, then what's going to happen is that when you make them appear on click, all three will appear at the same time. So you want to make sure that these are three different text boxes. So what I mean is that instead of having these three boxes, if you had just one box and uh, let me show you what I mean. Let's just say that something like that. And let's say that that box and that box, those are not there. And you just have two items and like so. And when you make it appear on click, it's going to appear all of them all at once um, because they're all a single text box. So if you want, if you don't want that to happen, then make sure that these are separate text boxes. All right, now let's make them appear on click. To do that, click the element that you want to appear on click and then click animate from the top bar right here. And then under the text tab, make sure it's on the text tab. If it's, uh, if it's on the page tab, then you don't see it. So toggle it to the text tab and then toggle this button that says appear on click. So it's turned on basically. 
Do the same for the next text box and again for the next one. And when it's done, present again and let me show you what happens. So now we are seeing the image, the laptop and the newsletter 101, but we're not seeing all of the text below that. And to make it appear, click anywhere and this appears and then click again and the next one appears. Click again, the third one appears. All right, now what if you want uh, multiple things to appear together? So for example, if you remember from, from the first slide that I was showing you, the laptop and the newsletter 101 appeared together. So how did it happen? All you have to do is group these two items together. So click the laptop and then hold the shift key in your keyboard and then click the other item to select both of them and then click the group button or just click anywhere and then drag your mouse over the items that you want to group together while holding your mouse and then let go and they're selected and then click group. And that's when they're all grouped together and then click animate again from the top bar and then click under element, click, uh, click appear on click so that it's turned on. And then go and present again and let me show you what it looks like. Okay, something cool happened. It's good that it happened because now I can show you why this happened and one other feature that can remedy that. So instead of the laptop and the newsletter appearing first, the text below that appeared first and then the second one and the third one and then the laptop and newsletter. And do you know why that happened? I'll, I'll give you a guess. Any idea? No? Yes? Anyway, the reason it happened is because I made them click on appear first and then I made it click appear. Um, so it happened in the order that I made them um, animate and appear on click. So if you remember, I had actually made these appear on click first and then I made this appear on click. So how to remedy that? Go to animate and then under text where it says appear on click, um, you can click click order. And as you can see, uh, the first one is um, that first line right below newsletter 101 and the second one is the second line and the cool thing is that when you hover over them it actually shows you it highlights that element or the text box so you can easily see um, which one is which so what I'm going to do is the last one is the this one the newsletter 101 so I will click it and by holding it drag it at the top and now it rearranged it so now when I present it it will appear accordingly. So when I click it, as you see, newsletter 101 plus the laptop, click it again, 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 and boom, it's exactly what we wanted. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to do on the back end. Um, these things, these uh, transition um, effects, if you will, basically you're doing an animation, but it makes sense to say transition effect kind of um, they can help make your presentations more effective and it will help people understand your talking points better when you're doing presentations whether it's for school you you know your classes or for work or whatever it is that you're doing um, anyway that's how you do it so that's it for today's video hopefully that will help you make better presentations and I will see you with a different video sometime soon. Bye.